package arrived. Uh, I did a video the other day with my phone mount. I couldn't do a good vertical horizontal picture either either because the mount blocks part of the camera. If I do a horizontal, the uh, camera mount or the phone mount bangs on my display and it actually banged so hard I thought it was going to break it. She's going in circles. Hey, she wants to get those gophers. There's gophers in my backyard. So I'm going to pause the camera. I'll show you what I got. It's got the threads that fit in there for my gimbal. That's going to stick up pretty high though, so it's probably going to wobble even worse. Might even jiggle so much that it knocks the camera out from the magnetic mount. That's a magnetic mount that clips around the camera. We'll see. Maybe I can find a nice smooth path. Pause the camera again, open the box and I'll show you. First thing I noticed, it is heavy. And it sounds like it's made out of metal. But that feels like plastic. <laughs> This is actually quite heavy, like very heavy for something that size. I'll mount that and take a shot of that. Go find the gophers. Got some gophers living under the deck there. I don't know what this part is for in the plastic bag. I don't think I need it. it. Must be for some optional mount. That literally took me 10 seconds to install. There's a point where it just does not tighten up anymore. 10 seconds to install. It does move if I push hard on it. I thought if I come back a bit, it'll give some perspective of if you might be able to see the wheel or something. I'm not sure. This is the chintzy foam mount that I bought. And I think this was actually more than that. I don't know. It's spring loaded in. It's tight. I'll probably end up taking this off. I'm going to go inside the house and buy my, or bring my DGI um, gimbal out and see what it looks like. And there it is with my DJI gimbal. I told you it was going to stick up high. So I think there's going to be a lot of vibrations when I hit bumps. It might have been a total waste of money. I think it was like 28 bucks or something like that. This does have more quality than this. Though. That feels a lot more rigid. This is adjustable for this way and that way. Shouldn't have done that because I've only got one hand. Like I said before, it's a magnetic mount. This part here, it's really hard to pull off. Clips onto the back of the phone that I'm recording this video with. And I really don't, I think the weak point is the magnetic part. Hit a big bump and it might actually pop off because the Samsung A70 is quite heavy. It has a lot of weight to it and it might cause this to want to come off. It does take a lot to pull it off, but I'm going to go around the bike path tomorrow. I've already done my exercise for the day. And I'll see if I can get some horizontal footage for old Kaj. And actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to see if I can figure out where the microphone is on this Samsung A70. And put a little baffle over it to cut down the wind noise. That was a pathetic video. I uploaded it anyway. Just send it. Troy is jealous though. Obviously, he's on uh, eBay. He bought some more bicycle uh, e-bike parts. So while I'm out here, let me walk you through some of the settings. That's the power on switch. That's obviously your speed. You can change it to miles per hour. This is your power. Pretty much no matter what, when I'm using the throttle, this is your throttle. Oopsies. <laughs> I should move this down to zero first. It's uh, on one assist right now. 
move that down to none. That's the minus, and that's now zero assist. So that way, it shouldn't be giving it any assist. It did there for a split second. I've been out six times for 15, 12, pretty much 12 to 15 minutes. Today was 17, so an average of 15 minutes, six trips. I started with 100% battery. So I could probably go for another week before I have to charge it. You press these plus minus buttons both at the same time. And that gets you into that screen. Display setting. You go minus or you go info to get into that. There's where you can change all your other settings. The minus button will toggle you down. Dormancy, that, that's how long before it shuts off. State of charge, you can look at percent or voltage. That's factory default. Trip reset, you can hit info and choose yes or no to reset it. I don't want to because I want to look just before I go on my next trip tomorrow. I want to add a couple minutes to today's trip. Working myself up slowly. So let's go back, hit info. It'll save that setting. AL sensitivity, I looked it up online, I can't remember what it is. Password's obvious, set voltage. You tell it what type of battery it has. I guess this controller can be used on ones with 36 volt batteries, not sure why I would want to change that. Under advanced settings, hit info. Tell it the wheel size, that's factory, it came like that. And I got it set for a maximum of 34 kilometers an hour. Hit info. When I first changed it, it asked me for the secret password. I'm going to go plus. It goes all the way up to 60. I doubt that it'll do 60. It'll probably hover. Oh, downhill it will. But it'll probably hover around 40, 42 kilometers. It might do 60. I wouldn't want to do 60. I set this for 42 last week, and then I hit save, and I just about uh, went into a death wobble right in front of my house. So I'm going to leave it at 32. I'm going to leave it at 33. I'm going to go up. I've got more experience. Let's go 34. Felt like I could have went 34 a few times today. Then I hit info, and then I go back, and that's the max speed I can do tomorrow. Let's go, whoops, back. Whoops, I went too far again. Info, two, three, four, error codes. It's got an error code. It stored that. I don't know if that was there or something that's happened since I bought it. Error code 30 means that something is not communicating. The headlight, the brakes, the throttle. The uh, assist, the motor, all these things, like if you're accelerating off of here and you hit the brakes, this little computer is supposed to stop sending power to the motor. And if one of those isn't making full communication, there's a lot of plugs on here. If one of these little plugs is corroded or not making a full connection, hydraulic brakes, by the way, that's the reservoir for the brake fluid, mineral oil. It says right on there. I think you can't see it. Hydraulic disc brakes. So I'm going to have to call the place and ask them how I clear that code and see if it happens again. Because I can't clear that code. I tried. And there's a little bell. Ring my bell. So tomorrow I get to take out the DJI with this camera that I'm filming this with. This thing's a lot of fun, and I'm feeling really good. I mean, I'm sore. It doesn't just give your legs a workout. It actually makes my wrists really sore, especially my right one for some reason. And my upper shoulders are feeling it. When I'm pedaling, I'm sticking mostly to one assist. But when I'm pedaling, I go until as soon as I feel my legs getting sore, then I hit the throttle, cruise for a bit, then I pedal some more. I'm breaking myself in slowly. It's been 35 years since I've ridden a bike. And this isn't just a bike that you ride. It's heavy. You want the assist. 
I forget how much it weighs. It's like a hundred and something pounds or something like that. It's way more than an old fashioned 10 speed. That's the battery. You can check the battery level. It says 50% and that's pretty close to what the screen says. 55%. It will shut off in five minutes. You saw that setting. So I'll leave it like that and we'll take it out tomorrow. These reflectors kind of look cheesy. They look like something got caught in the wheel, but it's all plastic around the spokes. There's one in the front, one in the back. Four inch tires, 27 and a half by four inch. I'll bet you one of these tires costs as much as a, a wheel for Troy Reed's truck, a tire for Troy Reed's truck.